so powerful. Yeah. Uh, radio is so powerful. We meet people who can tell you exactly what you said last week or last month or even last year. So people listen to radio very attentively. So it's a great opportunity to impact people's lives for good. So it's a very exciting and relevant field to be involved in as a Christian. Yeah. Um, there are many challenges. Uh, keeping your integrity is one of the key ones. Um, in sport, it's all about your opinion, who you think is the best team or who's the best player. Uh, there's no answer on that. <laughs> yeah. Who's better? <laughs> Peter and Love who's better than Moses Chunga or George Shire? Yeah, that's Those subject to that's debatable. Debate, yeah. Yes, or is yeah. Ronaldo better than Messi? We can just debate. Um, but there are other areas which are unethical. Um, we need to be impartial. Well, we need to give people a right to give their own opinion. Um, if we talk to one side of an argument, we yeah. need the others to have their chance. Um, there are problems of bribery in journalism, uh, but I've never wanted to get involved in that at all. So. I'd be very reluctant to accept any gift from anyone. Um, I prefer to keep my impartiality and my integrity. Um, so that is one area. Then there are two other big areas as a Christian in the media is pride. Um, we get a lot of congratulations, uh, a lot of thanks from listeners, a lot of comments that are positive. Um, maybe saying you're doing a good job or we like your show or your, uh, we like your presentation, your commentary, whatever. Mm. So it could be very easy to have a lot of pride and to become big-headed, <laughs> yeah. to have an ego problem. <laughs> <laughs> and we find many people in the media, especially radio and TV, can have a big ego yeah. and can be difficult to get along with. And part of that is because of all these compliments that we receive. We get some criticism, but we get much more compliments than criticism. And the way I handle that is that I see it as a big, big responsibility that people would be looking up to what I'm saying on the radio. So um, rather than getting big-headed, I'd see it more as a scary kind of thing that all these people listen to Star FM or they watch Super Sports. And then another area is, uh, I would say, of um, uh, faithfulness to my wife, yeah. uh, let's say, or sexual purity. Let's yeah. say it's a very big area in sports broadcasting because we travel a lot yeah. and for many People, if they get a chance to travel inside the country or outside the country and stay in a hotel, the first thing they things they think of will be beer and women. Yeah. It's a very big temptation for a lot of reporters who travel away from home. Um, the longest trip I had was to the World Cup last year to Brazil for nearly six weeks. Yes. Um, I travel with super sports like maybe twice a month to Buluayu, to Gueru, wherever, uh, and this presents sexual temptation for many people and it ha you need to be aware of that and to be mentally prepared in advance. So how I handle that is I, wherever possible I travel with my wife, uh, she's flexible with her work so uh, if possible, she'll come with me to Shishavani or to Gueru or Kadoma, wherever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the, uh, otherwise, if I'm going by myself, it needs prayer and mental preparation.